Woo. Hi guys, how's it going? I'm your good pal Ghosty, and today we're playing more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So let's just get into it. <laughs> um, in the last episode, we kind of just hung out with people. Um, I refused to hang out with some people I didn't like, and somebody told me that I should, and we'll get to that in a little bit, but first we need to see who's at the door. Hmm, who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and found someone, and someone forced their way in. Oh, oh my god. Speak of the devil. I was told to hang out with this girl, um, to help her with her, uh, just help her, I guess, with her, like, confidence and stuff. And I was a little hesitant at first, but then I decided, you know what? I can fix her. You know, I can... She's cute. I I like to read. Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so, so surprised? Am I really that annoying? Right now? Yes. I'm sorry, you are right now. But I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna change it. I got this, okay? She will be perfect by the, the time we're done. <laughs> well, I already know that I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. Okay, that's a little sad. Just, no, you're not annoying. I was just wondering what was going on. <laughs> I have a f f favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. Oh, really? Where do you want to go? Oh, well. Oh, well, the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? You want a recommendation? Because I'm not the best person to ask. I am on Book Talk, but I don't contribute. I just read sometimes. Why don't you just ask Biakia? He spends all his time in the library anyway. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? You're not a b b b blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's go to the library! Okay, I got it, the library. Why so pushy? I guess we're being forced to help. I... It just begins my work. Qu quiet Be quiet when you go in! Don't let him see you! Okay, she actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here! <laughs> He's really here! Okay... Makoto. Go talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. He scares me. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. Yeah, honestly. I or go with me. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. I no, I get it. I get the the. Uh... Oh my gosh, I can't think of words today. The social anxiety aspect of that. I don't talk to people very often either. Look how long this cord is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back there? Back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah! Ah! So you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. <laughs> and take her with you. <laughs> hey, hey, um, Biakia? Remember how you said, <laughs> don't be a woman who dominates weak men, be a woman dominated by st strong men? <laughs> I never said that. Well, actually, 
I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. Go take a bath. You smell. Oh my gosh. Rude! Okay. I'm about to jump to her defense. I'm about to... <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go now, before your stench latches onto the entire room. No wonder she has such bad self-esteem issues. You're just making them worse. Oh. He really dug in into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Miyakia, yeah. to go that far. <laughs> he, he must be really concerned about me. Huh? He told me to t take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byakuya and I would be a g good together? Um, well now, I, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's no way to know. <laughs> but the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your f feelings, the love is born. That's how l love works. Okay. There might come a day when y you understand. Maybe s someday. Well, bye. <laughs> ah, young love! Huh! <laughs> Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But evil passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Okay, everyone is crazy. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll go back to my room for now. I don't understand. Maybe I should try it. Ahem. School announcement. School announcement. Oh, this is a new announcement. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Oh. Emergency! Emergency! Emergency? Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. Oh no, something bad's happened, hasn't it? Shoot! <laughs> Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well, indeed. What might await us in this time? <laughs> he keeps things interesting. That's for certain. Um... How is this funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like, how the housewife on the classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What? The heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Hmm. Which of us is actually messed up, hmm? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here. Living in a blind denial day after day. Hmm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whatever, or whoever would come to help us? How'd that turn out? Seems like there's no sign of who whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... That... That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police would, wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of an ur the major urban area. What? The police suck! <laughs> hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may just be that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. 
Nope, gonna say it. It's not like some occult. It's about mystery. last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space, when all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. Okay, but if you had to describe it, yes, if you had to describe Could it, it, it was like a construction site, I guess? A construct- Oh my gosh. A construction site? You're serious. I mean, I could be making all that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> and you definitely made it up. It must have been the sound of the ocean that, that you- in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? I think that was Monokuma, but I didn't read it like him. There he is! Oh, great. What now? He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion! Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a that kind kind of sound like construction in a way. Who are you talking about? Beyond this point, my mouth is zip. My lips are sealed. I'm fully puckered. It's a little se secret, little secret. And fine. Then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why'd you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? If you but please. before that. I bent a little. I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even getting loose. Is it even losing all its shining luster? I'm thinking it's probably because of this bow hum boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? The next blacken hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey. Um... So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is this another set of videos or something? Oh lord, here we go. Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive me to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful! You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore! No matter what you do, I swear to god we won't! Hmm. Well, that's very big talk! Do your very best to back it up, okay? Oh, now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's given there that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating on my own and dug up some of your dark secrets. Oh. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Uh-oh. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. Quickly snatched my envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and the, my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto went to bed until he was in the fifth grade. What? <gasps> oh. How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll up by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill all the beans. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. <laughs> yep, yep. You got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want that stuff revealed, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but I never kill some I never kill someone over something like this. What, what did you say? Count on it. He's right! Your plan doomed to fail! No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh no. Is it because for better or for worse, your memory's still a way to connect with the outside world? I have 
have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what. So I assume you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying... Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then, that's, in the 24 hours I expose all of your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad. So depressed. Sad not well. With almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded to the gym's depths. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we all dodged a bullet on this one? Um... I mean, yeah. Having those kinds of secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not... Enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt. If we do that, any motive for murder will be vanished. Will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet, okay, listen. so my embarrassing thing is... I don't, I don't want to hear your stupid st story. What? Besides, I don't... I, I don't want Owen to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me, neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh, what's that? Mean? Well, if it, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible, come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on, come on. I'm not gonna read that. As I said, here we go. No, she said. I don't want to talk about it, you stupid bag of lard. Close enough. See, I agree with them. No, there's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Shahiro? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I really don't want to talk about it right now. But but I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become stronger then I can tell everyone so, um... if you don't want to talk about it you don't have to I'm not super excited to talk about it either that's true if everyone's that much against it even my bros the one that, even if it's my bros the one that suggested it I gotta say no <laughs> well well oh well that's not what he said well that's okay then either way it's just a few secrets I'm sure nobody's going to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. Secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got anything like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each one of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. I don't know. So, you know, um... Don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh. Uh. Okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but. It's bedtime. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining yeah. Okay then. Sweet dreams, Owen's butt butt bite. Yeah, we hear it every mm. night. Night time already, huh? Alright, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with anxiety I just couldn't shake. We left things as they were, and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. The way to connect to the outside world. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone could kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Oh no... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know was that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Oh no, who's next? I'm not even excited for Monokuma Theater, because I know someone's about to die. Oh, there's a gun. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. 
it's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are two there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? There's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of a moment, but surprisingly, you can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotion lead you. It's all about preser preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. There's nothing written between the lines, though. I'm not good with metaphors. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning! Oh my gosh. Not him. Ah! <laughs> Late reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. <laughs> what are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spike things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the man's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? Huh? Say what? Your face is all blue like someone is on the verge. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. Good luck. Oh Lord, something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. <laughs> Ran. Ah, ah Makoto. Uh, um, Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma tell you to? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and Biakia. They're the only ones here. Where's everyone else? <laughs> Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned, or they haven't been woken up yet. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... So, if something really did happen, does that mean everyone did it because of what happened yesterday? Or someone did it because of what happened yesterday. It can't be. That stuff is just a bunch of old memories. Hmm. Just old memory. Memories? Memories. Don't be sh too sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you not realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? What? Why did you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it me does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong for with him. For serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and get in looking. Hmm. <laughs> The game is afoot. You're a weirdo. No! Who is it? I'm so scared. <laughs> check the- Check the fridge. Make sure all our food is still there. Okay. Our food is still here. We're still good. We're good. We're good. That's very important. Huh? The door's open, but there- aren't there supposed to be- oh no. I think I found the body. For 
For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Investigation! It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Biakia! I see. Judging from what he said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on! Hm. In the locker rooms? They're very suspicious. Wait, suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? I guess I haven't gotten a look at them yet. <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. Okay, creep. He was muttering as if only talking to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh no. Who is it? <gasps> no! I'm gonna cry! No! I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... Who would kill Shahiro? A wild, almost primal scream escaped my mouth. Oh my gosh. I'm in shock. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. The surge, it surged out of me like a water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Yakya, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, unless he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Look. Shahiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust. Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her! How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Saka Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Hmm. It's almost as whoever did it, did it for fun. Do you see what I mean? You do see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too, confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head... What the heck? I heard screaming! Did something... <laughs> Shahiro! I'm so sad. I really like Shahiro. And... A body has been discovered! Is it because I hung out with her? <laughs> Damn. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine so as the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discover- The body discovery announcement? Then Shahira really is- Naturally. Dead. Yes. <laughs> Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. Seems like another game has begun. <laughs> another game has begun! <laughs> another life or death game to uncover a killer. I really okay. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time had passed at all. It was as if my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger when we all stood there gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. Damn. I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim! Which we now- we are now in the same position once again. Man. What the- What the 
heck is this? This is a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. <sighs> Shut up. Okay, well, I guess we investigate now. Let's look at everything first. No, there is there's more important things to know. Hmm. For now, pay attention to the wall. Huh? <laughs> I said it once already. There's words written there. On the wall? Oh. The word blood rust. Blood rust? Bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. So... I don't think it's any sort of dying message. It's just too strange. It's very neatly written, too. But... You know, the thing about writing bloodlust and blood doesn't sound kind of familiar. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using bizarre and brutal method. At the scene of the crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. Like they're a ghost attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious killer? Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, that murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country? The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation abnormal, downright cruel killings. What is this? Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? Why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real? What are you saying? Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! Th there's no way! Hmm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I'm surprised at their stupidity. Well, I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Ah! Uh. Uh. What is it now? Toko! Hina was pointing towards the entrance of the girls' locker room. Huh? Oh shoot, she faints at the sight of blood, doesn't she? Toko was the last to arrive, and she was just standing there. No. Why? 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 Uh-oh. She fainted! That did not sound good. Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh. Oh, that's right. I just remembered what she said. How she faints at any time she sees blood. Oh. 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 So she is hemophobic. I imagine she does not want to watch many horror films then. Uh, um. This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. No, I think it's okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Mm. Ah, so since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Just a second. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she'd heard her, Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. Such a strange reaction, I was total at a total loss of words. She leapt straight up in the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time flat, she was just standing up. Oh, she does not look good. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? huh? What? <sighs> Sorry about that. I was so shocked, you know, it happens, right? Was I the only one? Toko? Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> the world is front and back and top highlighting in the bottom of the sea of truth of blah 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 blah. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> the world has a front and back, a top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. Wow. She's not stuttering anymore. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, 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 
everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Mm. It might be best we take her back to her room for her for the time being. So, um... I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Taka, can you help me? Huh? <laughs> Don't totally ignore me! Hmm. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. I can assume nobody else has a problem- nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again. Uh, hold on a second, rushing into an investigation? <laughs> the mastermind isn't le behind that. The mastermind isn't behind that, after what happened last time. Surely you realize that. <laughs> Don't make me repeat There's no question that Shihiro was murdered by someone among us. <laughs> Isn't that right, Monokuma? Oh! Of course! How did he know he would just show up like that? Right, everyone? But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life. Because... Yeah. That's how the question works. Then it's happened again. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Another one of us killed a fellow classmate? Hmm? What does that freak you out? What, what does that freak you out? You got no mouth, you know? <sighs> Is there just nothing that at all? Well, I'm going to be crazy if you want. Yeah! Actually, I don't need either. Stop talking. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> I sure did, John. I know how much he must be looking forward to. See ya later. So please do your very best on this investigation. No way. Do we really got to do another investigation? I'm so sad. Examining the corpse as one of of one of our friends. Oh wait, having to suspect all of our other friends. Why? I hate this. I just can't take it anymore. Oh, I hate no. it too. I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just liquid. A dead body is a m simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon. What? What? Do you want to die? Such no. Ignorance. Fine then, go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. Damn you. Dead body is an object. Piece of shit. Hero wasn't an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat you. I'll beat some into you. Calm down. Everyone, stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakia says. Kyoko? Because. If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. If Byakuya is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who kills Shihiro, That's right. then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims if we mess up, we're all dead meat! Hey, hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on! If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry longer! In any ki one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people! Huh? What? I don't remember any rule like that! I just came up with it. I mean, if one if one person went around and killed everyone, if one person went around and killed everyone, your life and student life would all be over, right? So then. In that case, why not limit it to just one person? Hey. Um... Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah. <laughs> just be took with took that possibility. Farewell for you. For you. I'll catch you guys in the first trial. I can't say I understand his thinking, but we can. But if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger, <laughs> which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut up. So um. Well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her room. Nice! I'm gonna get dropped off! There is nothing to be done. I don't know what her voice is supposed to sound like in that state, actually, so... 
I apologize if it's not what you guys expected it to be. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation too sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who kills Shihiro, then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but I want to survive. Me and everyone else. We have to do it. We don't have any other choice. <laughs> 